Welcome back, everybody, to Mega Man 4, Buster Only, No Death Run. And we are moving on to a rather easy boss level, and that will be Toad Man. And let me tell you, this level... <laughs> This level is actually trickier than the boss, and probably less ridiculous looking too, to boot. But of all things, the level is more or less a sewer type level. And already you get the crazy birds and stuff and rain, which kind of hamper your jumps. So all said and done, this is actually a rather dangerous beginning to the level and probably one of the trickiest in the entire stage. And yeah, this is really not helping at all, all this craziness. These birds, they're just terrible. I don't know how, how else to say it. These birds are just absolutely terrible. And this is one of the worst jumps here. The, the ones where you have to go from lower level to a higher level, that's one of the worst jumps. Now, higher to lower is more or less easy. Ugh. Okay, we are done with that particular section. Like, seriously, we are gone. And so we have these rat and amoeba-like enemies, and yet even more gimmicks that alter your movement speed. Just take it slow, don't rush, and... That's pretty much, I think, the trickiest part of the stage. The rest is all smooth sailing from here. Okay, this is Escargo, and Escargo has like two attacks. It's basically bombs, which is all he seems to be wanting to do. And then he has the eyeball gimmick, where it goes towards your current position very fast. If that wasn't enough, we are walking on air. We have yet another battle with an Escargo, but this one's way more deadlier. This is literally the last challenge of this particular level, because you have bottomless pits there, that's right, right there, and moving water to hamper your overall movement, so this is going to be a thrill, and the fact that... Yeah. The fact that you have very limited movement, because if you're underneath the waterfall, you're, I think your jumping height is hampered, so you can't really jump as high to hit his eyes, so you kind of have to be on the left or right side of the waterfall, which, of course, puts you closer to the spikes, and easier to hit with his eyes. This final section, which I'm doing terrible on, in fact this whole level I'm not doing so good, is just a gauntlet of fishes that love to just hit you and push you into the water, thus the spikes. But with that, we are completely done with this entire level. As I said, the level is more tricky than the boss fight. Now, the only thing Toad Man can do is either jump on you or do the Rain Flush. And the Rain Flush is a screen-wide attack, which you cannot dodge. So, I guess it stands to reason that they made him very easy to cancel out that attack. Just shoot him once, and that cancels that- Oh, whoa, ha, no, 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 don't do that. Ha <laughs> ha, sometimes shooting him doesn't cancel out the attack, you gotta shoot him a second time to make him jump. But yeah, pretty much just shoot and slide, shoot and slide, and you'll never have a problem with Toad Man. Shooting him just basically canceled out his slide. So, not that bad. I mean, there's really not much to say about him. Pretty simple boss. Oh, God, no! That was a terrible, terrible mistake. I was thinking he was gonna jump over me, and instead he just stood still. That's not how it's supposed to happen. Either way, after that abysmal performance, we're still done, and we still did it under one life. So, yeah, first try. No outtakes on this, this level, so I'm very happy about that. And so we get a screen-wide attack which, from my knowledge, isn't very useful, but then again, I never really used this weapon very much in the Mega Man 4 when I was playing growing up, so I don't know. And, of course, we get the Rush Marine Adapter, which we will probably never use. So with that, we end this video with one more left, the dreaded Ringman. Until next time, see you later, and stay retro.